had you because you're a you're a great book reader did had you come across this the book of street i had not okay so uh me neither so street cat named bob uh which is a publishing sensation and uh a story in in this bob the street cat plays himself um uh, luke treadaway is very very likable as a central character who is a uh, uh, a homeless person who is a methadone addict who starts to turn his life around when this cat bob finds his way into the place that he has now been given to stay. Here's a clip. How was you making all that noise? How'd you get... Oh, I see. You're a thief, are you? Stealing all my cornflakes, hmm? Hey, are you friendly? Hmm? Okay, so that answers that. It's an odd little film. What, what, what it was an odd little clip. I know, that was actually the only clip we had. I think they had it because you can actually hear, you can hear Bob in it. He was the cat. Yes, obviously. I, I realise that. Um, it's an odd film. On the one hand, uh, I mean, they, you know, they, it has a certain uh, charm to it because it is a story which is an uplifting story about somebody who has completely lost their way, who is in a destitute position, who finds manages to find a way out of it, and as somebody who is both a cat and a dog enthusiast you know what i mean i you know we, our house is just full of pets and, and and believe me when it comes to the pecking order i'm way down below both the cats really? at, you know, so far down and so there are obvious there are things in it that you know that that, that work me on that level i have to say i think it's it's slightly televisual it's also it, occasionally it has a kooky air that doesn't quite manage to achieve the for me, it felt a, the, the the kookiness can you know starts to trip over into cheesiness occasionally, but its heart is absolutely in the right place. It is a story that reminds us again the fact that it's coming out now, and it looks like it, it's a film which wants to embrace a sort of popular you know a, a big mainstream audience, and coming up to Christmas, particularly when homelessness is a really really big issue, a film in which one of the central characters is a big issue seller who is you know walking around with, like, with his cat on his shoulders and it's a, and it's charming and funny it has an awful sense of contrivance about uh, parts of the film i mean there are things about it that absolutely don't ring true there are other parts of it that are sort of you know harrowing and uh, tough particularly the coming off methadone all that sort of stuff in which it's very upfront and very frank about the practical realities of that situation so it's it's an odd film it is a strange mix of, on the one hand, you know, tough but tender, some bits of it work and are charming, some bits of it less so, and, you know, feel a little bit too much like they're playing to, you know, to our sort of, to our, our kooky funny bones, which don't quite work. And there are things in it which absolutely don't ring true, but it's good natured. And it is one of those films in which you kind of, you give it, you, you, you sort of, you want to go along with it because its heart is so clearly in the right place, and the story on you know, for which it is telling is so clearly one that, frankly, at times like this, need to be heard more. People, you know, people having a really, really terrible time finding a way out of it through support of both other people and a cat named Bob. But it's a, uh, but it's flawed. Is it a feel-good movie? Yes, and they, I just thought you were going to do some kind of awful. Uh, is it? I'm sure that somebody said it's absolutely per effect or I, feline. I, it's a feline good movie. Oh, that's great! Yeah, I, I, I knew I'd get there. I, knew I I'd get should there have the absolutely end. done that one. But it's. But, I'm feline good. But you're couching it as though it might be a bit of a Ken Loach film. But no, 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 no. It's absolutely not a Ken. That's what I'm saying. There are elements in it which are, you know, doing the, you know, the looking at the sort of brutal. But but no, it's absolutely not a Ken Loach film. It's absolutely not. It is it pr primarily a feel-good film about somebody coming through and overcoming adversity with the help of a cat.